You know what's hard when you create a new website? It's to start from the blank screen. It's very hard to choose the right color and the right blocks according to your branding. So we are here for you. In Odoo 15, we developed a new artificial intelligence engine that will create your design for you in just a few clicks. Just click on this button, let's do it. So I want a business website, an online store, an e-learning platform, an event website. You choose, you answer a few questions for a university, let's say, university library. You answer a few questions, what, like what are your main objectives, get leads, develop the brand, sell more, here it's for to develop the brand, and the system will take into account all your preference and build the perfect website for you. You can choose a pre-made color palette with colors that really works well together, or you upload your logo and we will extract the color from your logo. So I click on this palette, choose a few features, like I want a news page, some events, about us, and so on, and when you are ready, you click on this button, build my website. And that's where the magic happened. Boom, three gorgeous designs that are ready to be used for me. So I can choose one of the three, this one, and the system will uh, build my website with my header, my footer, the right call to actions according to my business objectives. It will use my colors and photos according to my branding. And here it is, just in a few seconds, my library website is up and running. It's already online, I can already use it. And you know what, we can improve it a little bit. This, I, I really like this photo, it's a beautiful one, dynamic with uh, all the hats, but we can make it even more dynamic. So the new version comes with dynamic shape. Select a photo and you can add some shapes like rounded or square shapes like this, or you can go even more fancy with shapes having colors. And you see the colors, they perfectly match with your branding. So it's always beautiful, whatever you choose. Uh, and you can pick shapes the, the way you want. And that really gives a modern feeling to your website. We also have plenty of new features, let's say for a library, maybe a donation. Uh, that's for a new university, it's good. Drag and drop a new building blocks. All the building blocks come with these perfect colors, as you can see here. And they are extremely customizable. You can do pretty much everything you want in just a few clicks. So here you could say, okay, I don't want the display option, just the donate button. Or I want the display option, but no pre-filled option. I have to choose the amount uh, from the slider here. Or I want some options, but I want this 25 and 100. Uh, and here it is, my donation uh, widget is ready. So all I have to do is to save the page and my website is ready with a beautiful website for a university library with donations, beautiful pictures, and so on. I really love it. It's, it's so fun to build a website th that way, it's super fast. You know what, I, I love it so much that I think I'll build a second website just for you. So I switch to another website because Odoo is fully, fully multi-website and I'll configure it the same way. Let's do it. I want this time an online store for, let's say, a car dealer uh, company. A really smart car, let's say a car dealer company. And my objective this time is to sell more. So we'll optimize the flow so that uh, we better convert the visitors into reviews. I pick a color, this one, add a few features. Do I want some store locator, appointment generation, and things like that, privacy policy. Check the option and boom. Three beautiful websites ready to use out of the box. Huh, it's difficult to choose because they are, the three are very different, but still they use the same uh, red branding that I choose. They are perfectly uh, in line with my team of a car dealer. So let's go with this one. And now the system is building all the features. In just a few seconds, I will have the perfect e-commerce website for my cars with a red branding. Here it is. So let's improve it. So hmm, maybe we can uh, improve the text. One of the features I really like in Odoo 15 is the new gradient system. So we could select some text, click on the gradient here, Perfect. And you see how this adds up uh, to the modern feeling of the website. You know what would be good? Is to have the button with the same design. So let's do the same thing. Now you can customize buttons too, with plenty of new options. So I go to the button, I'd select a style, custom style, with a fill color, and let's pick a gradient like this. Hmm, that's good. 
I don't need a border for this one and I'll go with a shape which is more rounded. And yeah, it's a bit too small, so I will increase the size to large. Wow, you see how beautiful it is. It's modern, it's, it, it just works and it's just a few clicks. And you can go and you, you can even fine tune it. So let's say that you want to improve this gradient. Now we have a gradient configurator. So you see here, you could say, okay, I want more purple on the right, like this. Or maybe it was good like that, but I want to add a color in the middle, a red one, or maybe a white one. Yeah, white one is better. And you can customize your gradient in just a few clicks and reuse it at different place. Wow, let's continue. Our cover is perfect. Let's continue on the, on the page. So here I have a, a beautiful picture with a shape. So it, uh, the system already proposed a shape for me. I can remove it if I want or customize it because now we support multiple colors and shapes. Let's remove the shape. And you know what would be great is to see this car coming from the right. So for that, we'll use a new mechanism of animation that we support on the picture. So let's go with um, uh, which animation? Maybe a bounce in from the right? Yes like this, bounce from the right, or uh, zoom from the right. Oh yeah, that's perfect. You see it coming, it really feels uh, like a good look and feel. You can also create animations on text. Here I could select the text, um, maybe just a word, we don't need to, to use a full line. Small icon here to activate animation. And I can select one like a bounce scene. Perfect. And now I have animation from the car and the text coming in. I can synchronize them or say, okay, the text will be after three seconds after the car. So I just set an animation delay so that you see one and the other after. So you really have a fine control about what you want to show and how you want to do it. And you can customize pretty much everything. You see here, there is also an animation that's a background shape with an animation. It's also a new feature for Do15. Um, and let's change it. Let's go with something more, um, yes, more uh, with triangles like this and the triangles, I wanted them on the top. That's perfect. And you see it's subtle, it doesn't move and sometimes it changes, it's, it's, it's really good. Um, you can also customize any block and blocks new now have templates. So this masonry block has different templates. You could say, okay, I prefer it that way or that way or like this with two big picture or like this, this like this, so you can easily uh, switch between different templates. Um, and for this one, I think I'll go with this one. So it's very easy to customize. And you have this template on pretty much all the blocks. So let's click on the header. Same thing, you have all the templates you, you, you want. So let's go with this one. Save, and I ch choose the template for this header. And the system uh, is ready. So here is my new website. As you can see, let's make it full screen. Uh, beautiful websites, gorgeous color, beautiful animations, the right choice of templates and animations, it's perfect. Let's have a look at the shop now. So I'll save my home page, and I'll go to the shop. Um, and I will start with customizing the shop. Maybe I'll add some uh, attributes and variant filters on the left very easy so that I can uh, filter the product easily. You can also add new things like a filter by price. So you have filter here uh, based on the price. And when you select, you have the products that change automatically. The search behavior of Odoo improved massively. Now you can search across different objects from products, blogs, e-learning content, product categories. So if I write a few words here like boxes, it's searching on the product categories and the products in this case. Perfect. And you know what? This product, the customizable task, is generating 25% of my revenue. So it's a very important product. Let's click on it and add a ribbon to it. We want to emphasize this product because it's a key one. And if you click here, I have more options to the ribbon. Let's say I want it on the right and I can choose another color or another text if I want. That's perfect for my ribbon. And this product, I think we should make it bigger. It's a very important one, maybe three square. And boom, here it is. My product is uh, well uh, positioned on my page. All right, so let's have a look at it and click on the product. We redesigned all the page from the blogs to the e-learning content to the product page. All the page are beautifully designed in Odoo 15. As you can see here, you have 
options uh, from variants on the top with uh, upselling and extra and things like that. You have uh, attributes in the bottom and a tool to easily compare attributes between different products. Let's say you are selling mobile phone with different gigabytes or different size of the screen. You can easily have something to compare um, this. And let's customize this page even further and add some feature, maybe a call to action right here. And this call to action, I would say I offer a 30% discount for Facebook user, for Facebook users, just like that. But you know what? I want this content to only appear for some visitors on my website, the ones coming from a Facebook ad. So I'll use a new feature here, which is the visibility, and I will set it to conditionally. I'll say this banner will only appear for the visitor coming from Facebook. So the visitor coming from Facebook will see that in the page, and the other ones will see uh, this no banner. And you can target any kind of visitor, returning visitors based on the country, if you want a different phone number for different countries. So you can really create generic uh, dynamic content that adapts to your visitor. That's good. And let's go further. I want to upsell and offer some chairs with this table. And to do that, I will uh, insert something. So here I'm in a website where I can design 3D uh, objects. I copy my, cha my chair, it's a small code, and I will insert it to my website. And for that, I will start with some content. Let's say a text image here. All right, and here I will insert an embed code on the top of the picture, and I actually don't need the picture, so I remove it. And I click on edit, and I just paste the code from here, save. And now, when I save my page, I don't have the Facebook banner because I'm not coming from Facebook, but I have this new 3D so that I can see my chair in 3D, zoom into it, very easy like this. Uh, and you can basically insert anything in your website very easily like that. And you choose the location, the size, and you can even make it dynamic. In this case, I put different vari variants. So I have it uh, in red or in white. Perfect. So that's my product page. It's so good that I think I have to buy the product. Let's add to cart. Beautiful animation. We now have a lot of new features when you add to cart. You can decide your own flow. Do you want to move the visitor to the cart, stay on the page so that he can choose other options, or open a pop-up with different upselling opportunities? We now also support adding some uh, gift cards that you can sell on the e-commerce or use in the e-commerce. And these gift cards also work in the point of sale. So you can sell in one and use in the other if you want. You can also link completely the e-commerce to the point of sale. You reserve the product online and then you go on the shop to get the products and pay or do a down payment. And the best is the website builder, as it is now, is 35% faster than Adobe 14. So it's a massive improvement in speed and performance. All right, so my website is there, it's published, it's beautiful, so it's time to let the world know about it. So for that, I will use the mass mailing. I'll just go to mailing, click create a new mailing, and I'll set a title, launching or new website, like this. I select a template, maybe this one. And the mass mailing system has all the features of the website builder. So if I click on an image, you get the same uh, advanced options that I had in the uh, website builder, but for the mass mailing. So it's very easy to customize and improve in the mailing. And if it's a very important uh, mailing, I want it to be perfect. So what I can do is to launch A-B test. I just click this box and I can now create A-B testing in Odoo. So I will say that this version of this mailing will be sent to 10% of my selected mailing list. And then I will create different variations, and each variation will be sent to different subsets of recipients. And on this date, on the final date, we'll select a winner, and Odoo will send the winner, the best email, the best version I did, to all the other recipients. And how do I select the best? I can use this, the winner selection. I can use it on open rate, click rate, leads generated, quotation, or even revenues. Can you imagine that? Revenues. So you send an email, we track the visitor on the website, it generates a sale order, it pays, uh, that generates an invoice, it pays the invoice, and we know the revenue that we generated from this mailing. 
And based on that, you can uh, manage your A-B testing. You select which option you want to select the winner of this mass mailing and just click send. And that's it. Everyone will be announced, will go to your website and you will convert that into a lot of revenues.